The stylish animated infographic with the reveal effect looks like this. Can you see how smoothly the line sweeps across to reveal each segment? That is what we are going to learn today and the technique we are going to use to create this reveal effect can definitely be an interesting one. So let us jump right in and learn this beautiful technique. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to create that six segmented graphic. For that, let us go to insert, chart, and let us choose pie chart. Use this basic chart, Okay, then we have the accompanying worksheet. We don't need all these numbers. We need number one here. And then you just click and drag and we are going to go all the way till 13. And that is because the first row has this text here. So we have 12 segments that are shown here with number one. Perfect. We don't really care about anything else. Just let's close this. We don't want this legend. So just select it and delete it. Then we don't want the title, delete it. Now I'm going to right click on this and cut it. Then I'm going to paste it back as an SVG image. When I go to paste special, I can go to paste special option here. I can choose to have picture SVG. That is what I'm going to use now. If you don't have access to SVG type, then you can always go for enhanced meta file. Both of them work pretty much similar. I love to use SVG, so that is what I'm going to do here. And I say, okay, now what I have here is an SVG image, which means I can right click on this and I can convert it to shape. If you're using EMF, you may have to ungroup it twice. So that is the difference. Now I'm going to delete all these elements which form the bottom half of this chart because we only require six of these segments. So one, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. Now I'm going to keep this over here. So this is the base infographic. Now the next step is to place the text all around. So I'm going to go to the previous page and I'm just going to take all these text elements, press control C, come back here and press control V. So I don't really have to waste your time showing you how to do this. Now the next step is to create a large semicircle that completely covers this graphic. Now, how do we know the length of this? It's very simple. You just pick up the line tool and then click at the left corner and then go all the way till the right corner while holding the shift button down. Now the length of this is the diameter of the circle. The length is 17.85 centimeters. Excellent. Now we don't need this. We delete it. Now let us go to the auto shapes gallery, pick up the oval tool and then draw a circle and make sure that the diameter or the width is 17.85. So let us go here and say 17.85, hit enter and 17.85, hit enter. Now we have a perfect circle. Now let us place this over here. Now let us zoom out a little. We want to cut this into exact equal half. So I'm going to use a rectangle for that. Let us draw a rectangle and make sure that the rectangle is exactly at the halfway stage. Now if I go here, you can see that this rectangle is able to help me cut this circle into two halves. So let us select the circle first, hold the shift button down and then select the rectangle next. Go to merge shapes and say shape subtract or you can go to shape format, go to merge shapes and say shape subtract. Beautiful. Now we need it in such a way that when we rotate this, we should be able to reveal each segment one at a time. Now take a look at this. If I were to rotate this at this point, you can see that it is rotating all over the place. We need to fix this issue. How do we do that? We are going to create a ghost shape for this. So let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. And then let us invert it. So by selecting this, go to rotate and then you can say flip vertical and then place it so it covers the bottom half of the semicircle. Then let us select both of them and say shape outline, no outline. Then the bottom portion needs to have 100% transparency. So let us go to right click, format shape, fill and say 100% transparency. Then let us select this and the previous one, press Ctrl G to group it. Now look at the way this is going to turn. See, as I turn, you can see that 
each segment is being revealed pretty nicely beautiful now this is exactly what we want now let us go to fit slide to current window option then i want this to be in white color or the color of the slide so let us go to shape fill and give it white color now you can't really see anything let me make small minor adjustments so i'm able to cover everything so nothing underneath is seen now we are going to spin this by 30 degrees at a time now why 30 degrees now if you see this the top semicircle is divided into six segments the bottom one will have naturally six segments so totally there are 12 segments 360 degrees divided by 12 is 30 degrees so that is the reason why we are going to rotate this by 30 degrees interval so let us select this go to animations tab and let us keep the animation pane open now the reason why you are seeing all these is because these are all already animated now when we copied these elements from the previous slide we got all the animations along with it so that is the reason why you are seeing all of these so let us not bother about them for now now let us select just this white colored semicircle go to animations and let us give this a spin animation so that is how the animation happens neat isn't it now we want to do this five more times so we totally have six of these and then we will do all the necessary changes to those animations so let us select this add animation and say spin animation so we have the second event of that same thing going here and let us do that four more times now we have six of these animation events so let us select all of them while holding the shift button go to effect options and then we are going to have this rotate by 30 degrees clockwise then we're going to have a bit of bounce effect so you can have 0.92 seconds or one second it doesn't really matter so you can have that so you can have that little bit of uh, bounce so that really makes it look very interesting so that is what we are going for now let us rearrange all these text boxes right after the spin so let us take the first one put it right below the corresponding animation event let us do this let us do this excellent now when i go to slideshow you can see that there is really nothing on the screen on a click i reveal the first one the second one the third one the fourth one the fifth one and the sixth one now while the animation looks quite nice we need to do a few simple adjustments now if you remember in the previous slide we have this black line which is showing the path so when i go to slideshow you can see on a click we have this black line moving revealing this white line underneath and that is the sweet magic that really makes this animation look so beautiful so how do we do that let us see how to do that let us go to this slide that we are working on let me select this white semicircle so we can clearly see the circle so let us go here and give it some color so we are able to see that then let us go to the lines option and then let us select the middle point and then while holding the shift button down you draw a circle so it goes all the way till the end if you want you can even have it slightly longer now we are going to have this in black color and let us increase the weight to somewhere around four points now it has a square end so we want to have it a little more beautiful so let us go to format shape go to line and say the cap type is round and the joint type is also round so now if you see here it has a round end which makes it look really nice now this again if i have to rotate it will rotate in all crazy angles we want to have the same technique that we used earlier which is to add a ghost shape so it is able to spin along this path so let us select this press ctrl d to create a duplicate and place this right at the end of the previous one and as we did earlier go to shape outline and increase the transparency all the way till 100 percent and then let us select this press ctrl g to group now you might ask me why can't i say no line instead of adding a solid line and increase the transparency to 100 percent for some weird reason when you say no line the same ghost effect doesn't work as well so you need to make sure that it is filled with some color and then you increase the transparency to 100 percent all right now we need to have this grouped with the previous shape so it is able to have its magic done but then the moment you group something with something else the earlier animation completely vanishes so we need to find some way out of that as well let me close this for now 
Let me go to thumbnails. I'm going to add a new slide. Let me go to the previous one. Let us select this, press control C and then go here and park this over here. Then let us go to the previous one. Now select this and then this line ghost. Press control G to group it. Now you can see that we have lost all the animation. Now we need to get all that animation back onto this. So how do we do that? You go here to the next one. This one has all the animations. So we just need to go to animations and go to animation painter. So we are able to pick up the animation from this, go to the previous page and click on this. Now the same animation is applied to this group as well. Now it is perfect, beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is to make this into white color, just as we did earlier. And then we are going to do the same adjustment as we did earlier. So we need to move this down and move this down and do all the adjustment. And it is not a big deal really, considering the kind of payoff you're going to have. Now, another thing that I noticed is when I did the previous time, that by having this with previous, the effect is not as beautiful. So we are going to push this somewhere to the center. So we are going to add a bit of delay. So let us select this, hold the control button to select this. Holding the control button allows you to select the non-contiguous animation events. We are going to have a delay introduced, a delay of one second. So it is somewhere in the middle. So as the revelation happens, we will have the text coming out and that will be a lot more appropriate. So let us go to slideshow. Now what you see here is just this line and a white mask. Now on a click, the first segment is revealed and then the second segment and the third segment. Can you see just by making a little bit of an adjustment, you're able to make this infographic go to a whole new level. Now, let me show you three creative animated examples taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle that takes the idea that we have shown just now to the next level. The first example is this. Can you see we are able to show the three components as if a hand is coming and placing the different components on the slide, adding a bit more of visual interest. If you want to treat the three components as a static element on the slide like this, you can draw the viewer's attention to the individual components like this, where a hand comes and gives a labeling to each of the components. Now, these three components need not necessarily always be components of a circle. They can be a different shape. For example, you can see that these are components of a triangle. Now, to take the same idea to the next level, you add the layer of a picture to the components. Take a look at this. This represents four parts of an idea. On a click, we show the first component, the second component, the third component, and the fourth component like this. So with a bit of creativity and skill, you can definitely visualize your ideas in an impactful way in your presentations. If you have the time to create such graphics yourself, then please go ahead and do it. We have a ton of tutorials available in our channel that show you how to do it. If you don't have the time and you want really professional results, you can always go in for our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The link to the product is in the description box below the video. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.